interviewing Peter yeah, Stroud, like, like Cheryl Crow's guitars for a very voice. long time. I, I'm just talking. And I think it's cool that Albert Lee is watching people. our interview. Yeah. <laughs> we're, I get in close proximity, proximity yeah, so close. I don't have to shout. So no. Peter, the guitar, the one that you call your favorite, that you're playing My now. Favorite. The, the number one. one. That, yeah, the, the number one favorite for me. Uh, is nicknamed Nora, or it's affectionately named Nora. It is my 57 Les Paul Jr. And uh, it's just, you know, if there was one guitar, if I was down to one guitar, that's the one. If you were sent to an island and they said, we know you're a musician and you like to collect instruments, but you're allowed one guitar one for guitar. the rest of your life, that would be it. And how did you acquire Nora? Nora, well, I was giving guitar lessons when I was in high school, and one of them was a friend of mine, uh, a fellow uh, classmate, and uh, she, you know, she needed a guitar. So we were in a music store, and her other guitar teacher was telling her to get this Fender Mustang, which at the time was the uncoolest guitar you could get. And I said, no, you need that guitar, and it was that 57 Les Paul Jr. I said, that's what Keith Richards plays right there. He doesn't play a Mustang. He plays that Les Paul Jr. So she said, great, I'm getting it. So she she bought it, and I gave her lessons, and time goes on. Then she sort of lost interest. But I kept the guitar because she couldn't let her parents know that she had bought a guitar. They were very conservative. So they, you know, so she kept it under wraps by leaving the guitar with me. So I'm about to go on the road uh, for a while, and I call her and say, hey, I need to get your guitar back to you. I'm gonna be gone. And she goes, keep it. I went, you kidding? She says, keep it. And so that was, uh, like I said, that was in 77. That and was, was her 40, name Nora? 40 years ago, I'm sorry. And, and her name was Nora? Her name so was that's Nora. How Nora. The and she's still a good friend. I still see her. I still communicate with her. She's a good bud. And did she continue playing the guitar? No. That well, she may a little bit, but no. But I've held on to that guitar, and it is my favorite rock and roll guitar. And it wails. It's so you strange. played that yeah. with Cheryl? And yes, I played it with Cheryl. I played it with everybody that I played with at one point or another. And it's, you know, it's the one. Right on. What was your very first guitar? My very first guitar was a, well, first electric was a Sears Silvertone. My first acoustic was some no-name classical. My second was a Yamaha classical, and I still have that one. That a, when I was 11, and I still have it. And you learned to play when you were 11 years old? Yes. Self-taught, or did you have a teacher? Both. Started, uh, you know, self-taught, a little bit of lessons here and there. I would take lessons for a while, get tired of taking lessons, self-taught, go back and forth. Did go to music school, you know, so. Okay. When you come to a show like this, are you ever romanced or seduced into, wow, that's a beautiful accent? It sounds great, oh, yeah. and then they give I'm you a and push offer over. you a big deal. I'm a they push go, over. Will you play this for? It? You are, and you take those guitar. But well, I, I, I'm pretty selective, and you know, you want a good relationship with the people. You don't want. I don't like to take advantage of that kind of course. Thing. You know, so it's more when I see the one, then yeah. You know, like with Duesenberg, I feel like the Duesenberg guitars, and we have a signature. They they made one for me, which is really cool slide okay. guitar. Good. And then uh, more recently, Eastman guitars. They have a cool one that I've been using. It's a big old sort of hollow body rockabilly guitar. So, when so you every tour, once in a while, I'll see one that's really good. And you have to get it. Yeah. And when you tour, one. how many do you take out with you? On the road? Uh, usually about eight or ten. And you know, Nora's for, always in the For mix. different songs. And Nora's there. Nora's in and out of there. She's not always there. Sometimes I want her at home. She's safer at home. But like when I saw you at Radio City in 2009 or something, 8, 9, Nora was at that show, right? Yeah, yeah. She was there. I was at that I show. used her there. I used her on, uh, I had her out about a year, two years ago. And I'm sure, I'm sure I'll bring her out again. Awesome. Thank you, Peter. All right. Thanks for coming by.